Hey, it's MK and I am back with another 31 days of cut files and today we are doing kind of sort of what looks like a background from Paige Evans. I'm just showing you the title now. I picked from my Navy um, Alpha Letters and then this paper pack right here by 13 Arts is called Travel the World. It is brand new to me, made in Poland. I've never heard of this company, but I am so super stoked to have received this paper pack. Um, and been able to use it. Use it. I also um, already pre-cut a few elements out and am getting ready to get started. So this is the piece of paper that I picked from this 13 Arts collection. I just thought it would look really, really good with this street map. Now, I'm not going to use mine as a street map. I'm actually going to use it more as, um, you know, like you're lost in the woods type thing thing, even though we technically weren't, I am going to use this Altenew Jet Ink, um, Jet Black Ink spray to spray my cut file completely black. Uh, this is going to be a completely plain Jane layout because I want it all to, um, you know, I just, I, I want everything to be looked at instead of overlooked, if that makes any sense. So I will double mat my, um, my photos. I just felt like they got lost on this green cardstock. So I went ahead and I added a little bit of white. Now the white is going to be a teeny tiny itty bitty little bit of a border. I, I don't even, sometimes I don't even know why I bother, but I am going to do that. Now I left this part in because I actually end up cutting too much off. And now what do I do? So uh, I, I left it in so I could show you guys um, how I fix something like this. Um, I know that I'm not the only one that this happens to. I am a measuring Fruit Loop, so I do need to pull out my ruler and know exactly how big my photo mats are so I know how big the, the photo mats need to be um, just because of the fact that, uh, you know, wonky lines drive me nuts. So I, I need to know those things. Um, I know it's an OCD thing, um, but it makes my life happy. And, um, you know, if I'm happy, then I am creating great things, right? So down at the bottom, I have a lot of space where the green is. And so I thought that I would just take one of these words, which says journey, and put it down there um, to kind of just basically take your eye away from big green spot right down here. Look here. <laughs> so I am realizing that this map file is actually a little bit on the wonky side. And so it's not a perfect little square. So I decided, well, okay, do I want it to be a perfect little square? What do I want to do? So I went and um, was looking up something and then I decided, no, I'm just going to do it this way. Um, I think what it was, was I was going to see if I could turn it into a two page layout, I think is what it was. Uh, and then I opted not to. So I basically made the map or the cut file, I guess I should say, I made it go you know, perfect on three sides. And then I covered up the wonky side with my photo mats. All right, I'm going to work on this little cluster. Now I almost used the never stop exploring, um, instead of my title. And then I remembered I have a title. I can't forget that. And lately I have just been a little annoyed at, um, all the words, like my layouts have like a lot of words on them. I, I said the word like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I, I'm just not happy with, um, you know, my layouts being really, really wordy. So at first I thought I was going to use the word journey. And then I decided not to. Um, I found this other little teeny tiny word, which I apologize. It, I don't know what it says, but the boots fit in it a little bit better. And then I have this little compass and I thought, oh, great cute little cluster. Perfect. It's over. So then I'm going to build another little car. It's actually a larger cluster, which is going to be my title cluster. And I actually enjoy building um, a, a cluster for my title because then it doesn't look like something I just decided, oh crud, I forgot my title. Let me add that in there real quick. So I really do enjoy having a title, um, 
you know, embellished basically, instead of just sticking out like a sore thumb. Anyways, and while I was doing that, I decided to tuck in a little bit more at my bottom cluster and I had a little map and I couldn't figure out which way the map was supposed to face. So I finally picked a direction and thought, you know what, if somebody's going to notice that it's possibly upside down, I'm, you know, shame on them. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> so gluing everything down now, I did split the title up. So it says, um, take the road less traveled. And I put take the road um, up on top and then the world travel down on the path of my photo, which I thought was pretty cool because it's kind of sort of hidden. But in uh, real life, you can actually kind of see it. So the last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of white splatter this go around because I thought that it would look really good um, with the splatters on top of the black uh, maps, making it kind of look distressed. And I absolutely love, it's not supposed to look like snow though, so I hope it doesn't look like snow. Uh, I just realized that maybe it looks like snow. Hey, it says good things, take time. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out Christina, who is doing the exact same cut file every single day that I am, only she's doing it live, which is kind of cool because for me, my techniques take just a hair longer and I'm just, I love going over there and checking out what she does on a live. All right, till next time. Bye.